Morning everyone, Nicola Russell here. Um, Remembrance Into The Light is my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, having a bit of a cash day today. Uh, <laughs> and I went out um, with Louise for a walk and it's very, very windy here in England in this little time pocket of now. Um, I was really drawn to going to my big tree um, and um, just connecting with it. It was really interesting that as I sort of stood there, I looked up at the branches and saw that the um, that the wind was blowing the trees and it was really very interesting what the trees were sort of saying to me was that it's like if you do an energetic practice so if you do yoga breath work meditation any sort of practice any sort of clearing practice of your energy it's like that for the trees when the wind blows through the branches the trees have a physical body movement um so it's not like us where we move in this sort of format the trees actually move in the wind the wind assists the tree moving the energy out of its field um to help it clear its energy and this is what they were saying to me this morning and I just wanted to come on and talk and um, talk about that a little bit more and see if I can get some information through here as well. Okay, just a second. <laughs> mm. yeah. With the energies that are increasing in this universe, um, in this little world of ours, we need to make sure that we are clearing our energy. It is so important to have a little practice no matter what it is, and it doesn't matter what it is, okay? They're saying that it needs to be um, a, a daily practice if you can, because when you move your physical body and allow, just like the tree, to move its branches, you allow the opening up of the meridian lines and the... Um, the chakras to move through you move the energy through you so if you get any physical ailments um, emotional blocks where you're feeling a bit mm, um, allow yourself to really tap in energetically what that is because we should be running to its optimum we should be running through the energetic field very beautifully feeling in bliss every single day but because we've got this clearing to do it just means that we just need to keep on top of it or else it's just going to build up, build up, build up and create a cycle of experience of, there it is, right in your face. And this morning it was really quite interesting that I also woke up with a little bit of fear. I had sort of quite some deep realisations during the evening, some sort of emotional um, things that I was sort of working through and all of these sort of things sort of compounded um, with, with everything that I was feeling this morning and I... And I was sort of in this sort of sense of uh, procrastination <laughs> uh, of, yeah, I'll do this, yeah, I'll do that. And then actually just laying there in bed thinking, mm. <laughs> So, and I thought, well, no, this is right. I shouldn't be feeling like this. So I could have stayed in bed all day long saying, oh, you know, I'll write that list out or I'll do that. But no, I was all right, okay, let's get on it. Let's do this. Let's get out of bed, move my body get connected go and um connect with my trees because they they help me release um um as well as my practice of really sort of getting into my um sort of into my beingness <sighs> centering <coughs> coughing <coughs> doing whatever else happens just let it go we can sit there all day long Thinking, yeah. mm, mm. and that's okay too if you want to experience that that's absolutely fine but if you're so used to feeding higher resonances of energy when you feel a dip it feels ooh, sticky horrible um and so when you feel that sticky horrible feeling come across you like this really isn't no i can see it thank you for showing me let it go do something about it. Do something about it. Because the more that you do it, it's like they say, isn't it? Um, a stitch in time saves nine. 
Um, same thing with energy. If you start feeling a little bit emotional, a little bit gritty, sort it out. Okay. Now, so my cat is mouse. Yes, some subacuas, the Sikiamako was a maquiet, a dasiana kiatan, subakia makuas, zadi sikiana makuasha. Okay, the more that you clear, but it doesn't need to be a chore. Okay, they really want you to know that. That just don't make it like, God, I've got to do this. It creates another cycle. Okay, so just see it for what it is. And I also have to just go, oh, okay. I see it, okay, all right. It's like, if you're walking down the road and a car whizzes by and it's going a little bit fast, you recognise it, that it's going a little bit fast. Some people might go, slowing down. <laughs> Imagine an old person with an old walking stick, slow down, you hooligan. <laughs> um, or you can go, oh, that car's going a bit fast. And you see the car go past. If you wave your stick at a car going too fast and start shouting at it, it creates an emotional response. It creates that sense of, the car's going too fast. And then, <laughs> why well, I can't chase that, I don't know. But, but as it goes past you, it creates an emotional response and then you then start tapping into that and it stays with you all day thinking about the car going past you so fast. When you recognise it that the car is going past you, you go like, okay, it's going past, fast, but that's their journey. Okay. Sia bakia tat ant kawas, sia bakia ant awash, guyotu on pawash. Okay, that's quite nice little dialect, like that. What's that then? Da, sia bakia tat ant pawash, sia bakia tat tesuish, guyotu wash, yes, suas, su suas. It is the point of I see, I see, I see. Awash, guya wash, suas. Oh, I did a little bit of um, actual interpretation as in what that means. I slipped one from my list. Oh, wash. Okay. Now, so you're back here, that, that is yes. I don't know if you actually ca cottoned on to that yet. Da. So you're back here, that. That's the one, only one I can remember. Da. So you're back here, that, that is, you're here, that. I said, I bet, but I go to buy you a shot, I give you a wash, I give you a wash, I give you a wash. And then I agree, so I can make you a wash, and I said, you do not need to remember anything, it just is. It just is there, you just know that it, what it is. You don't need to remember anything. Okay, da. So you're back here, so you're back here, and I'm back here, dumb. To the piss, you're back here, dumb. To the piss, you're back here, dumb. This is the same case with anything that we do, that we know it all. 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 We just got to remember the combinations to the remembrance. And it takes time and practice. It takes that evolution of understanding and the slow unveiling of the information that comes and the realizations. That's the purpose of the game. It's like, oh God, why are you saying Ludo? It's like playing Ludo and you've got your four or five counters, can't remember how many there were, and you've got that little thing in the middle and you go, clunk. Is that, is that what it was called, Ludo? Okay, so you've got this like dome thing that goes over across the top there, like flat earth, <laughs> and you pop it and you go, pop, and then the numbers come up and then you then can put your counters round and it places it in each place. But as you get back to here, then you center back into remembrance and docking in back to where you are, back to your beginning. It's a cycle, you go round the outside of the board, moving your little counters round, 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 up to this line here where they all go in and you've got to get the right combination to dock yourself in. But you always come back round in the cycle, which is the incarnation. Oh, I never thought of Ludo that way. That's your body getting a mucky or daughter, Marion Mococra, the Tishani Kiet, and a kid that I rasha, they get a mucky or daughter, Makiata, a day or shop. You make your moves forward, you place and sit there for a while to contemplate, you move forward, you contemplate, and you move forward, and you move forward, forward, forward. That's his about a getting a mucky or daughter, Marion Makiata, but the game of earth 
is not as easy as the game of Ludo. When you push the centre, the numbers come up and you go around. We make things so complicated. And yes, indeed, the complications are there for our learning, for our greater good, for the soul journey and the evolution. But we complicate the game. We complicate the game by putting in extra rules, extra information, extra emotions, rather than just playing the game and seeing it for the joy that it is. If you see it from that perspective, if you move deeper into it and deeply analyze everybody else's um, moves as they go through, it creates emotional states of, they kept getting a six, and then they get another play at it, and I keep getting ones or twos. Comparison, expectations, and it makes you sort of feel a little bit, mm when you look at other people's journeys. So just concentrate on your own and you won't get that emotional response in, um, um, as a result of playing the game. That's your body at the bed and my core, could I have done that? That's your kid. Um, but I'll go with your body, Marco. I'll show it. It's a body, it's a baby, sure. I beg you, because you know deep down how you feel about the game. You know about your life, your perspectives, your understanding, your emotional states. And so that, that is your journey, that's your game. As the connection with other people come into play, then we need to take in consideration about their perspectives and honor that and see that. But it's also about the understanding of that when we're playing the game, it is us that are the players of the game and how we navigate through that system of does that experience of others actually affect us? And if it does, what is it within us that we need to clear? So it's all of that same information that always comes through. Just a different way of saying it. That's your bakianto to we sh bam boko wafte so ba yi makiata. Let us get back to the um energetic flow systems. So badly to kala we sho makuana makuasa terakito the ba wa shana kiata and that is uwa chiwakuwa sisabakuwa. That is yukito the makuwa tisukiya makuwa shi ten tata ten tata ten tata. It is really important to be in bodied. Okay. I've got a real big thing with this that my guides keep on at me about is that I go so much up there, upward, that I don't always anchor down into physicality. I skim over <laughs> physical things. I skim over them and I th I'm like, yeah, that'd be right there. We'll just pop that there. Don't really analyse things too deeply because it might set my emotions off. Um, and yes, absolutely, that's me. I do do that um, quite a lot, actually, they're saying. <laughs> right, fair enough. That's your kid makiota. This is your kid of my kid of my kid of my kid of my kid But it's about being authentic to yourself and that we don't need to always verbalise how we feel, but when we feel, we feel. And to honour that within yourself is a really important process. But then when it's all energetic is then when we're doing that journeying inside, analysing how we're feeling, is to then actually then move it through you energetically through the physical body and really get it into the physical body movement and grounding it, embodying the experience in your physicality. And the other thing that, <laughs> it was a funny breath, that's your baggy and the marquee I've done is what they really want to talk about also within this particular video is about working, resting and play and it's so easy to work, 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 play, 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 play and too much resting. If you've got too much of this, too much of this and too much of this, there's an imbalance and energetically that doesn't serve you e either. So it's about work, rest, play. That sense of balance also about all the other things that we need to navigate will help the process also. So get out there rather than just creating all the time or sitting there all the time contemplating or procrastination about I will do this and not working and doing the things um, too much being, too much this, too much that, too much, too much, too much, too much. It's about balance. It's about centering. It's about going here, inside of yourself. Because when you go inside of here, 
then you see the projection of what you are projecting out into the world. And at that sense of balance, then you have this harmony, harmony, harmony within your um, energetic field, the masculine um, of the doing and the feminine, that of the flow, the logical mindset, the creativity, all comes into balance. That is the process. Balance, balance, balance. That. So you're about to get him up here, um, wash up him. Um, loads of different tools to do it. Um, check out all the, all the details below, which is all the links to my online courses. So um, the energetic flow, how to clear energy is another course. If you don't know how to clear your energy, please go on Star Seed You and download that one. That's going to be really useful for you. That um, energetic mastery, um, if anything at all, just know that you're energetic. And if you know how to do it, then fabulous just tap in intuitively to how to actually do that breath work as well um, go for a walk go for a, a swim whatever you do just allow yourself to let go of anything that that's building up inside of yourself um, okay so the next couple uh, next month is going to be of two phases apparently the first part of this month of May 2021 in this time pocket of now um, is very intense about really getting in again just sweeping through the deep core wounds deep realizations understanding of self and multi-dimensional aspects integration all of this will enable us to move forward into reaching higher levels of consciousness going higher in our understanding as we go lower into releasing um, but then also coming into physicality and coming into um, joining in with um, like-minded people coming together within groups is the second phase of may into june july is really coming in together in physicality. Now I do so much online, so much online, and it's had to go that way, but I'm really feeling that it needs to all come into physicality, or my work's gonna shift into group work um, and physicality in physical. So, uh, um, so I'll still be doing online things, so if you need me online, if you're sort of the other side of the world and <laughs> I'm in England and you're over there or wherever you are, connect with me also that I, I still will be doing onward um, online but I will also feel that over the next couple of years and beyond that we'll be moving around the world so um, and I'll let you know um, if you follow my work um, where I will be to actually meet up physically which I'm very very excited about because um, it, it the energy work works the same in the quantum field online or in person but in person you have that um, human experience of being present in the physical this is physical but it's virtual physical in a, in a way isn't it so yeah so that are all be coming up um, for me and I'll keep you updated with all of that which I'm terribly excited about and I'll be working with some amazing people also um, Anything else, please, guys? So the whole purpose of this video is about making sure that you keep your energy in flow, that you find a practice that works for you. Find something that works for you. Being in the physical body is very important. Embodying in. You may feel that you might want to sort of literally sort of feel through the physical body as well. Allow yourself to physically feel the body and tap in. <laughs> do all of that sort of stuff really feel into the physical body as well it's important to feel the connection okay i think that's it that so you better get it back on the better get a mush with your marco i'm a guesha cc as you know give it a little wiggle give it a little shake ground it in use your breath and you're good to go okay um i think that's it Thank you so much for all your comments that you leave for me. I really do appreciate them. So please comment and like and subscribe um, 
check out when the live streams are coming on I will be doing some more live streams um, and I keep saying that's procrastination again isn't it that I said I was going to be doing that I didn't do one yesterday it's Monday oh I might do one tonight then um, so yeah so take care everyone and um, let me know how you're all getting on and I'll speak to you all soon take care bye